Well, hi there. Did you know that Jesus said, with faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move mountains? Look how small that is. I don't even know if you can see it. Oh no, I dropped it. <laughs> see if I can find it. Oh, I think I found it. No, nope, that's just some kind of crumb. Man, mustard seed sure is small. Hello, Mission Kids, and welcome to another Mission Kids Online. I hope you're having an amazing week. We are now in March. Do you know what that means? That means that we're going to be starting a new series. This month, we're going to be learning all about hope. Now, hope is believing that there is a way forward. Can you say that with me? Hope is believing that there is a way forward. There is no way that I am going to be able to clean my room by next weekend. You're probably right about that. It's a pigsty in there. I just really wanted to go to a sleepover at my friend's house next weekend, but my mom and dad said I could only go if I cleaned my room. I can't see any way that I'll be able to do that. It's hopeless. Did I hear someone say hopeless? Yeah, Batty wants to go to a sleepover next weekend, but her mom and dad said that she could only go if she cleans her room, and it's really messy, so... She doesn't think that she'll be able to clean it by next weekend. I see. Well, we don't always get to do what we want to. But in this case, I think there is hope. Hope is believing that there's a way forward. And today we're going to learn that God can do much with little. And Patty, I think with a little help from Chuck and I, you will be able to get your room clean by next weekend. Why don't you guys go on ahead, and I'll join you guys in a minute. Okay. Thanks, Aaron. Let's get that pigsty looking stylish. Have you ever felt like Patty? Hope is believing that there's a way forward. When Patty believed that there was a way for her to get a room cleaned by the end of the weekend, or by next weekend, with some help from Chuck and I, she had hope that she'd be able to go to her sleepover. Now, hope can be based on many things, but our best and most reliable source of hope is God. Why don't you join me as we sing a song about how our hope is in the Lord?
I love that song. It reminds me that I can always have hope because God is always there for me. Let's turn to our Bible story today to hear how God was there for a crowd of more than 5,000 hungry people and how he did much with little. John chapter 6, verse 1 to 14. Sometime after this, Jesus crossed to the far shore of the Sea of Galilee, and a great crowd of people were following him because they saw the signs he had performed by healing the sick. When Jesus looked up and saw a great crowd coming toward him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? He asked this only to test him, for he already had in mind what he was going to do. Philip answered him, It would take more than half a year's wages to buy enough bread for each one to have a bite. Another of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. Here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish, but how far will they go among so many? Jesus said, Have the people sit down. There was plenty of grass in that place, and they sat down. About five thousand men were there. Jesus then took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed to those who had uh, been seated as much as they wanted. He did the same with the fish. When they had all had enough to eat, he said to his disciples, Gather the pieces that are left over. Let nothing be wasted. So they gathered them and filled twelve baskets with the pieces of the five barley loaves left over by those who had eaten. After the people saw the sign Jesus performed, they began to say, Surely this is the prophet who is to come into the world. Wow! What an amazing story! Jesus fed over 5,000 people with two fish and five loaves of bread. Imagine what he can do for us when we feel hopeless. Have you ever felt like Philip? Like there was no hope in your situation? You see, Philip just couldn't see a way to feed 5,000 people, but Jesus made a way. Now, hope is believing that there is a way forward. Sometimes that way forward isn't what we expect, and sometimes it's not even the way we want to go. But Jesus will always lead us down the road that leads to hope. All we have to do is follow him. And whatever happens, remember that God can do much with little. Can you say the bottom line with me? Whatever happens, remember, God can do much with little. Our memory verse this month is John 14, verse 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Our craft today is this miracle necklace. And it actually is the miracle in the Bible story we were talking about today, where Jesus fed more than 5,000 people with two fish and five loaves of bread. So we can make it, wear it, and it can remind us that God can do much with little. So let's get started. To make the craft today, you're going to need a few things. Uh, some string, some paper. If you have some noodles that have a hole in it, I got panay noodles. Uh, I got five of them to represent the five loaves of bread. A pair of scissors, a hole punch, and some markers. So, to get started, we're actually going to draw some fish. So, choose your favorite colors and draw some fish.
Once you've drawn your fish, cut them out. Once you're done cutting them out, now I did two fish to represent the two fish in the Bible story. I'm going to actually turn them over and color the other side so that when they're on your necklace, both sides are colored.
Great. Once you're done with your fish, you can now start to put your necklace together. So take your string, and the way I did is I put a kind of loaf of bread in the middle, the two fish, and then the other two on each side. But you can put it any order that you want. So I'm going to start with my one loaf of bread. To put the fish onto your uh, string, you can just pull punch somewhere on your fish to make a place for the string to go through. And now it's just time to add the rest of the loaves of bread. There you go. Now you just have to tie it around your neck and cut it to the right length. Let it fit the way you want it to. And now you have a way to remember that God can do much with little. I hope you enjoyed that craft. I just want to remind you that we are back at the building. If you uh, want to come out, you're more than welcome to, or you're also welcome to enjoy our Mission Kids Online videos right from home. Would you just join me as we close together in prayer? God, we thank you so much that we can have hope because of you. We thank you that your faithfulness is trustworthy. We just pray that you'd be with us this week and help us to continue to trust and have hope in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We'll see you guys next time.